I don't know all your names, but I know that many of you are, are military or, or faith-based or both. Or, um, and and uh, um, I'm, it's, I'm really proud of this, of this work. And uh, for those of you who don't know, and perhaps most of you do know about Desmond Doss, he was an extraordinary uh, conscientious objector, although he chose to call himself a conscientious cooperator, who um, uh, received the Medal of Honor for acts of valor. Um, again and again and again, put his life on the line, but he uh, he went into the very epicenter of uh, of hell on earth um, without a weapon, armed with nothing more than faith, and and uh, uh, performed the highest act of love. I mean, he laid his own life on the line for his brothers repeatedly. So it's not to be a war film; it's a love story. It is, I have to say, I wanted to uh, bring to life the nature of what I found through research. Uh, the Battle of Hacksaw Ridge in Okinawa is the, uh, it's pretty ferocious, so it is graphic, uh, but I thought it needed to be that way in order for it to be, um, to highlight the sacrifice not only that our veterans have made for us in the past, but a lot of these guys aren't around anymore, although we did show it to three guys who were on Hacksaw Ridge two nights ago. Wow. They were in their 90s. And they came in in wheelchairs, and at the end they were on their feet. <laughs> and cathartic. Amen. It was for them, cathartic. And, uh, you know, there were tears shed, and, but therapeutic too. They were elated afterwards. And one of them was uh, Drew Brees' granddad. Mm. Uh, and uh, and he, was, he, was <laughs> he was choking one of the young stars of the film out, showing him how he choked people out. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, I'm a tough love. <laughs> You know, so uh, I think Deborah's probably told you, I mean, we sort of tried to keep it up the period of the era and, and uh, be sensitive, because I want as many people to see it as possible. Okay, it is already, yeah. But uh, we did avoid, you know, profanity and a lot of the F word and all that kind of stuff where possible. So we kept it down to a dull roar, tried to be realistic to the essence of who Desmond was in respect to him, too. Um, Gee, I don't know what else I could say, except I hope you enjoyed The film speaks for itself. Um, do I have to call anyone down or recognize them? Okay, not you. She's got She's got she's, I, 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 I said, oh yeah, and Ron Ringo's here. He's a uh, commander and chaplain, and uh, he was there when we first screened the, uh, the film for some of the disabled vets, and uh, he's a counselor and works, um, you know, in... in you know, war wounds, you know, not, not only the physical wounds, but the wounds up here and the wounds of the veterans, you know, the indelible marks on their hearts and souls, and I guess, you know, PTSD, uh, battle fatigue, shell shock, whatever it's called, it's, uh, um, it's in every generation that's been part of it. They didn't used to have a name for it, but uh, um, he, he was there to provide counseling and <coughs> triggered things. And, and I, I'm presuming there are guys who serve right here in the room. Yeah? Amen. Yeah? Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm not embarrassed you by making you stand up, but, uh, you know, look, you have my admiration and thanks. I've talked to servicemen and guys who've been to combat, you know, from the First World War. I'm old enough to talk to those guys. Uh, from First World War, Second World War, my dad was in Guadalcanal. And the Korean War and the Vietnam War and uh, the present day and they, they, they're all similar and that they're marked indelibly by their experience and uh, we need to pay a lot more attention I hope that this film brings attention to um, the sacrifice they made and what it's taken from them because sometimes you don't get it all back again and uh, so they need a lot of love and attention you know I think anyone sane hates war but you gotta love the man who fights it, love the warrior. So uh, that's all I'll say. So thank you.